miongoni mwa semana nataka kuzungumzia kuhusu sehemu ya the semana we are writing the thing is garden of the semana wapo the garden of the semana jambo kuu ni shamba la semana amen and there's something what to look at what is about this garden what happened there kuna kitu mchungaji anataka kuangalia kuhusiana na ile shamba nini ilifanyika pale ya semana amen Yeah so yeah the book of Matthew 26 tuko katika kitabu cha Mathayo 26 verse number 36 mstari ukiwa ni wa 36 to number 46 hadi 46 praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe if someone is there wapo mtu wako pale you can read for us naweza kutusomea and god will bless you na mungu atatubarikia kisha Yesu akaenda pamoja nao mpaka bustani iitwayo Getsemani akawaambia wanafunzi wake ketini hapa hata niende kule nikaombe akamchukua Petro na wale wana wawili wa Zebedayo akaanza kuhuzunika na kusononeka ndipo akawaambia roho yangu ina huzuni nyingi kiasi cha kufa aeni hapa kesho pamoja nami akaendelea mbele kidogo akaanguka kifulifuli akaomba akasema baba yangu ikiwezekana kikombe hiki kiniepuke walakini si kama mimi nitakavyo bali kama utakavyo wewe akawaja tawajia wale wanafunzi akawakuta wamelala akawa akamwambia Petro je kuweza kukesha pamoja nami hata saa moja kesheni muombe usije mkaingia majaribuni roho ila lakini mwili ni dhaifu akaenda tena mara ya pili akaomba akisema baba yangu ikiwa haiwezekani haiwezekani kikombe hiki kiniepuke nisipo kunywa mapenzi yako yatimizwe akaja tena akawakuta wamelala maana macho yao yamekuwa mazito akawaacha tena akaenda akaomba mara ya tatu akisema maneno yale yale kisha akawajia wanafunzi wake akawaambia laleni sasa tumzike tazama saa imekaribia na mwana wa Adamu atachiwa katika mikono ya wenye dhambi ondokeni twende twende zetuni tazama yule anaye anaye ni saliti amemkaribia kusalitiwa na kukamatwa kwa Yesu ndivyo baba god this is your word baba mungu hili neno lako ibariki in jesus name katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen amen praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe yeah We are looking at the garden of Gethsemane. Tunaangalia bustani la Gethsemane and there is a lot we are going to see about this garden. Na kuna mengi tunaenda kuona kuhusiana na bustani la Gethsemane. Well, God bless you. Karibu sana ndugu yetu. Yes. So this garden uh, it is a place uh, which is which was good for Jesus. Katika bustani ilikuwa ni sehemu ambayo ilikuwa ni nzuri kwake Yesu Kristo. When the last supper of Jesus with his disciples was finished. Baada ile siku ya mwisho ulipokamilika na wanafunzi wake, he predicted his betrayal. Aliweza kutafsiri kule kusalitiwa kwake. By Judas Iscariot. Na Yuda Iscariot. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He tried to begin predicting that I'm going to be betrayed by one of my disciples. Alianza kutabiri kwamba nikuenda nika nikasalitiwa na mmoja wa wanafunzi wangu. If you read 26 verse number 21, kisoma katika sura ya 26 mstari wa 21 up to 25. Hadi mstari wa 25. Nao walipokuwa wakali wa kila alisema amini na waambia mmoja wenu atanisaliti wakaosimika sana wakaanza kumuuliza mmoja mmoja ni mimi bwana akajibu akasema yeye aliyetia mkono wake pamoja nami katika kombe liye atakaye nisaliti mwana wa madamu aende 
aende zake kama adi, kama alivyoandikiwa lakini yule wake mtu yule ambaye amsaliti mwana wa Adamu ingekuwa hili kwake mtu yule kama asingelizaliwa Yuda yule mwenye kumsaliti akajibu akasema ni mimi babi akamwambia wewe umesema ku asisiwa kwa chakula cha Bwana praise god bwana asifiwe and let me tell you this man was a very dark man for jesus wacha nikwambie mtu huyu alikuwa ni mtu mkali sana kwa Yesu the man was very dark for him mtu huyu alikuwa mkali sana man au mwezi huo ulikuwa ni mkali sana kwa Yesu Kristo was coming close to his death sababu Yesu alikuwa anakaribia mauti na alijua anaenda kufa no matter what happens i must die licha ya kuwa kitu gani kitafanyika lazima nife so he had a very big tough time hivyo kwamba alikuwa na wakati mgumu kwa hayo majira he also uh, a foretold the uh, what it has denied of him aliweza pia kutabiri kule kukataliwa kwake kumkana peter he told him you are going to also deny me because this time is tough for me alimwambia tetero wewe utanikana sababu ya wakati huu mgumu kwangu praise god so much bwana yesu asifiwe jesus had a, a very tough time in this season wakati huo yesu kristo alikuwa na wakati ambao ni mgumu sana katika majira kama haya praise god so much bwana yesu asifiwe Yes. 
kuuawa sababu Yesu Kristo alikuwa Mungu asilimia 100 alijua kile ambacho kitatokea zile yake lakini sababu alikuwa ni mtu kutoka kwa Mungu kumokoa wanadamu kutokana na dhambi za Adamu aliweza kushinda wote ile ambalo lilikuja mbele yake wacha tusome wa Korinto wa kwanza 15 wa Korinto wa kwanza 15 you read we are reading verse for the for the seven wasoma mstari wa 47 The Bible says the first man was of the earth, man of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Neno la Mungu linasema mtu wa kwanza atatoka katika nchi na ni wa udongo na mtu wa pili atoka mbinguni. Praise God so much. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Through the first man who is Adam. Bichia mwanadamu wa kwanza ambaye ni Adamu. See the word. Dambi iliweza kuingia ulimwenguni. Amen. Because of one man Adam. Okay, we are talking about being serious. But one man who is Jesus Christ. Now, here, it's one man who is Jesus Christ. In the garden of Gethsemane. He was able to overcome. 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 Katika bustani ya Gethsemane was a place of victory for Jesus. Ilikuwa sehemu ya ushindi kwa Yesu Kristo. Amen. It was a place of victory for Jesus even for us. Ilikuwa ni sehemu ya ushindi kwake Yesu Kristo na hata kwetu. But I want you to know. Nataka ujue hili that the victory did not come easy as you may think. Kwamba ushindi huo haukuja kwa rahisi jinsi unavyodhania. The victory did not come easy as you may think. Jesus, I was just No. <laughs> kwa ni sehemu ya mateso praise god so much bwana yesu asifiwe hata that one put it a katika hiyo neno weka alama ya a and right where jesus experienced the great distress na uandike mahali mahali ambapo yesu kristo aliweza kupitia hali ambayo ni chungu zaidi where jesus experienced great great distress hapo ndipo yesu kristo aliweza kushuhudia uchungu ambao ni mkubwa sana wacha turudi katika kitabu cha Mathayo mahali ambapo tulitoka verse 6 sura ikiwa ni 26 we see that Jesus went to pray tunaona kwamba Yesu Kristo alienda kuomba accompanied by Peter James and John akiwa na Petero Yakobo na Yohana praise God so much bwana Yesu asifiwe waliweza kuandamana naye katika maombi Wacha nikwambia hawakujua kile ambacho Yesu Kristo alikuwa anahisi. Walimsikiliza pale. Hawakujua hali halisi ambayo Yesu Kristo alikuwa anapitia. Tusome mstari wa 36 hadi mstari wa 37. Kisha Yesu akaenda pamoja nao mpaka bustani itwa ya Getsemani, akawaambia wanafunzi wake, "Etini hapa, hata niende" kule nikaombe akamchukua petero na wale wana wawili wa zebedayo akaanza kuhuzunika na kusononeka praise god so much bwana yesu asifiwe he left his disciples somewhere and waacha wanafunzi wake sehemu fulani and took peter na akachukua petero and then for peter is kephas kina kingine na petero ni kefa amen which means the rock bwana anamaanisha kwamba which means blood bae na maanisha mtu mweusi kama pasta hivi amen and the name was called kefa jina lingine aliitwa kefa now he took peter alichukua petero and the two sons of zebedee na wale wana wawili wa zebedee that was james and john hiyo ni yako 
kupenda kiasi kwamba ajitoe kufa kwa ajili yako si rahisi. Ndijua ile ambayo ilikuwa inamaanisha Sababu alikuwa anawaambia wanafunzi wake mara tatu. Jinsi ambavyo Mungu anasema, patajali, you are broken everywhere, but you are 